The investigation was a just and fair investigation. It was uh, up to the, the practices, the best practices of the day. I stand by the process and the results of that process and my decision. It's been a very difficult, it's been a very difficult decision to make. But more than that, I found it very difficult to, to address the fact that there's been a, a, a culture of silence for so long on the Hill. And to, to speak with folks who've been impacted in general, I had the opportunity to speak with women who, who have felt silenced, have felt afraid to come forward. And I, I really feel as, as a leader, it's my responsibility to set a positive example that if I'm committed to building a safe workplace, then I have got to stand up for that principle. And so my focus throughout this has always been, how do I protect the people who work for me? How do I build a, a better workplace? And how do I combat the culture of silence, which has literally impeded people from coming forward who've had concerns in the past? And that's what I've been focused on doing. There was findings of harassment and sexual harassment. Harassment involves intimidation, involves uh, fear, and I want to make it very clear that that is not acceptable if someone does not accept the findings of a respected investigator, attacks someone who's come forward, claims that they made it up when a respected investigator has made a finding of fact, that is not acceptable. That sends a bad message, that sends a message that I would accept that type of behavior and I do not want to send that message.